All right, we're going to go to the third open mic here. Play cut three. Hey, Larry, 2007 Chevy Cobalt got 80,000 miles on it. When it gets below a quarter tank, has less than 100 miles to go, it starts acting like it's running out of fuel. And the more you step on the pedal, the more it acts like it's running out of fuel. Thanks for everything you do. Mm, you know, usually when we have a problem like that, it's normally a fuel, you know, it's it sounds like a duck, looks like a duck, and it walks like a duck. We have a fuel starvation problem there of some sort. Um, a lot of times where the fuel pump actually attaches to the fuel pump module, um, sometimes we can get a problem in there. Um, you know, something maybe is starting to leak. Um, sometimes a baffle will actually come detached inside the fuel tank itself. Now, when I say a baffle, uh, all fuel tanks in a vehicle have a baffle in them. Let, let's just say like this. You come to a, a, a stop. If there's not a baffle in there to slow the sloshing down of the fuel inside your fuel tank, what would happen is it would all run to the front of the car, you know, front of the tank every time you hit your brakes. And the same thing when you accelerate it, it would run to the back of the tank. You would actually feel it, especially with a half a tank of fuel on it. You would feel this fuel just literally sloshing around. Uh, so they put a baffle in there. And sometimes over the years, uh, you know, just from age, those baffles will work or either they'll break themselves free. And when they do, a lot of times they can actually, uh, just from driving, they can get lodged up underneath the, the fuel pump module and actually lift the daggone fuel pump out of the bottom of the tank. And then the next thing you know, you get down to a certain level, well, you're still getting gas, but it, it's just kind of hit and miss. And, and what happens is the, the, the fuel gauge really isn't reading 100% correct, you know, because you got, you got the actual fuel pump that's barely being submerged at that tank level. So, you know, in, in a case like that, the first thing I would do, I, I'd drop the gas tank and pull that fuel pump module out and inspect it. You're, you're going to find your problem right there. Um, and if the baffle is actually detached from the bottom of the tank, you probably, you, you'll most likely have to go and find you a good used gas tank, you know. That, they still should be a few out there for that old cobalt. Um, but, but that would be what would be, uh, that, that's what I would be inclined to do to repair the problem. I don't, I don't know of emptying the tank and trying to re-glue, you know, something like that into the bottom of a fuel tank would be wise or not. It'd probably be a waste of time. But, but probably locate you uh, a, a good use fuel tank and probably replace the fuel pump module itself. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm about a hundred percent sure that'll, that'll remedy that problem. We appreciate all your open mics today. And anyway, we thank you for taking the time to. Hi folks, Larry Perry here. For automotive information, maybe you got automotive questions on cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Maybe you're thinking about maybe purchasing a used vehicle, and maybe you just want my opinion. Tune in to the Magic Mechanic Radio Show every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. Uh, also, tune in to our Magic Mechanic YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll all get together, maybe fix a few cars while we're at it.